Hey guys, what's up? This is Yimtex101 here, um, bringing guys another video here today. And anyway, we're gonna be talking about um, in infinite worlds in a uh, Minecraft Xbox 360 edition skins, all that other stuff. This is gonna be real, guys. Now, first, let me get onto something right here. I mean, let's be honest here. Do you think Xbox 360 can handle infinite worlds? Mob spawners, you know, placeable well for creative worlds, spawn eggs, you know, we can place a lot more, and you know, even more to the actual game for Xbox 360. Do you think 360 can handle it? Tell me that, or comment, or comment that in the description. Sorry about that. I mean, now I'm gonna get, I'm gonna break this down for you guys. All right, so this is pretty crazy. All right, so if you think about it. If you look at other games, like indie games, dude, they're indie games. They're not even arcade games. Arcade games, when people make arcade games, they have more features that they can use. Indie games are limited to some of the stuff that they're able to use. So basically, if you look at a game like Castle Miner Z, or I think even maybe Castle Miner, limited worlds, dude. Infinite worlds. Now, by infinite, you know, they're not going to actually be infinite, but they're going to be, you know, to a, where you reach a point where you can go super, so far outside the map that you won't ever find an end. But, you know, it's not going to be infinite. That's not possible. But you, but people know that, but, um, people know what people mean when they say infinite because, you know, you can't really reach the end unless, like, unless you go there for, like, a whole freaking week straight or something like that. But basically, Castlevania Z, and maybe even the first Castlevania, has infinite worlds. Why does Forte Studios say they can't make infinite worlds in Xbox 360 edition? It is so retarded. I swear, dude. I mean, Total Miner Forge, you know, that's another great indie game. Guess what they have? They have they already have scripts. They have command blocks, for God's sake, dude. They have freaking command blocks. I mean, if you seriously look at that, they have command blocks, dude. You know, script blocks. You can do commands, you know. And Total Miner Forge in the next update 2.1 are getting infinite terrain, uh, you know, biomes, you know, moving water. And it's an indie game! It's a freaking indie game! So, I mean, honestly, what do you guys think? I think Forge Studios is just lying to us. I think they're just using their money for other personal uh, stuff that they want. They are not using their money to help the game out at all, to me at least. Because we should have infinity worlds. How do we not have infinity worlds? I mean, if you just just think about it, guys. I mean, seriously, just honestly, just think about it. I mean, think about it. Should we have infinity worlds or not? I mean, do you think 3 Cs can handle it? I mean, <laughs> if I go to Cast Runner Z, it handles it pretty good. Told them on the Forge. You know, the developers and the testers are already saying that they almost have near infinity worlds. But, you know, it's just not released to the public. They say it's going just fine. So, do you think for Minecraft FS 360 edition, do you think that they can handle it? Infinity Worlds? Guess what I think. I think yes. You guys, post your comments below. Honestly, to me, I think 400 Studios is lying to us. I always tell them to add custom uh, creative mode spawners, you know, mob spawners for my CTM map that I'm making. Like, you know, like Vex makes. But they never do it. And, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm just, you know... Every day I play Total Miner. I don't even play Minecraft anymore. Screw that. Um, so, I mean, just tell me what you guys think. I think they're just lying to us. I mean, if we really just think about it. But anyway, guys, that'll be it. This is your boy, Dr. Vortex 101 here. Peace out.